الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweetest and brothers, let's recite the Rudan Salam. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Rasulallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Nabiyallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurallah. Excellence of reciting Durud and Salam when a Muslim conveys three times Durud Park in the morning and three times in the evening with love and devotion, Allah Azza wa Jal will forgive the sins he committed that day. These are minor sins, not major sins. Major sins like missing Salah deliberately will have to compensate for the Salah and make sincere Tawbah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On page 148, call to righteousness, protect the oath. Maktabatul Madina, the publishing department of Dawud Islami, has published the Holy Quran with Urdu translation under the title of Kanzal Iman with Hussein al Irfan. On its page 516 and 517, the 91st ayah of Surah An Nahl, part 14, it is stated. Allah Azza wa Jal has said, translation is, <coughs> and fulfill the promise of Allah when you have made it, and do not break oaths after making them firm. And you have already made Allah a, gra a guarantor over you. Indeed, Allah knows your deeds. Allah Azza wa Jal also said in the 89th verse, in an ayah of Surah Al Maida, part 7. And guard your oaths. Commentating on this ayah, Alama Maulana Sayyid Muhammad Naimuddin Maradabadi, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, has stated in the commentary, Hussein al Irfan, fulfill oaths provided there is no sharif prohibition. To protect an oath also means giving up the habit of swearing oaths. <coughs> To break off for something better. Sayyidina Adi bin Hatim radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has stated that a person once came to me and asked for 100 dirhams. Annoyed, I said, you have asked me just for 100 dirhams, whereas I am the son of Hatim, in brackets, ta'i. By Allah Azza wa Jal, I will not give you anything. But then I said, I have heard the saying of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam if a person swore to do something but then something better occurred to him he should do the better thing therefore I would give you 400 dirhams and this is mentioned in Sahih Muslim Dear Islamic brothers although it is permissible to break the oath for something better the oath breaking person will have to pay expiation after breaking it Sayyidina Abul Ahwas Awf ibn Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma has narrated that has narrated from his father I said O Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when I go to my paternal cousin to ask for something he does not give anything to me nor does he treat me politely but when he needs anything he asks me for he asks me for that thing I have sworn an oath neither to give him anything nor to treat him kindly. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered me to do what was better and to pay expiation for my oath. If a person swore an oath to harm someone oppressively, it is a sin to fulfill such an oath. However, he will have to pay expiation for breaking this oath. It is stated in the book Sahih Bukhari, that the beloved and blessed Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has stated, if a person sworn oath to harm his family member, hence by Allah Almighty, it is a bigger sin near to Allah Almighty to harm him and to fulfill oath than to pay expiation imposed on him 
by Allah Azza wa Jal for breaking the oath. Commentating on this hadith, a renowned commentator of hadith and Quran, a great thinker of Ummah, Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi has stated, if a person swore an oath to violate the right of any of his family member, for example, he swore an oath not to serve his mother or not to talk to his parents, it is a sin for him to fulfill this type of oath. It is wajib for him to break such an oath and fulfill the rights of his family members. He and no one should have the misunderstanding that to fulfill this oath is a sin and not to fulfill this oath is a bigger sin. This correct, the correct ruling is that to fulfill this oath is severely major sin and not to fulfill it is an act of reward as it is blasphemy of the name of Allah to break the oath Expiation is wajib for this reason and not to break this oath is most severe sin. Sallu alal Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islam brothers, as you know, the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtimaaz are commenced on every Thursday at 8 p.m. here in Fazani Medina, also in your local city. Alhamdulillah will be the same timing. Try to attend and invite other Islamic brothers to attend also. Uh, another announcement I'd like to make, Alhamdulillah, as you know, we have uh, a digital uh, app which can be downloaded from the App Store. Um, my digital, my digital, um, well, inshallah, if I remember the name, um, it was on my mind, but I've lost it. Um, inshallah, do download this app and you can access the, um, the Fazani Medina radio worldwide, inshallah. And you can listen to the dars and the announcement that are made here in Fazani Medina. May Allah Azawajal reward you immensely. Ameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Was salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen. Jazallahu anna Muhammadan ma huwa ahluh. Ya Allah Azawajal, accept this short dars in your court. Accept our salat al-zuhur. Enlighten our hearts with the nur of Islam, the nur of knowledge of Islam. Ya Allah Azawajal, give us istiqamat in deen, protect us from shaitan, protect us from our nafs. Ya Allah Azawajal, uh, as we made the announcement for imamat course has started by tomorrow. Ya Allah Azawajal, for those who like to do the imamat course, Ya Allah bless them, give them the ability to give time to the imamat course and make them an imam. Ya Allah Azawajal, those who are donating their Units to Dawud Islami Telethon. Inshallah, live sister will be on 13 of November. Ya Allah, Zawajal, bless those who have donated, those who are intending to donate. Ya Allah, bless them also and grant them death with Iman. Ya Allah, Zawajal, grant all of us the vision of the beloved Prophet وسلم, before we depart from this world. And also the Drood and Salam that we convey on a daily basis give us the ability to make good intentions and to make supplications to convey this reward. صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين